Live from San Juan, Puerto Rico, it's theCUBE, covering Blockchain Unbound. Brought to you by Blockchain Industries. Okay, welcome back everyone live here at theCUBE in Puerto Rico for our extended coverage, exclusive coverage, two days, wall to wall. I'm John Furrier, the co-host of theCUBE. Co-founder of SiliconANGLE Media Inc. We're here at Al Bergio, founder of DigitalBits.io. Two days, Al, we're just uh, rocking here in uh, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Great to see you. Thanks for having me, guys. Keep alumni, you're like uh, you know, my wingman on the uh, <laughs> crypto. You know, we both were at um, Polycon 18. That's right. we, you were the only CUBE alumni there. First show in crypto as we start our tour. Now we have amassed probably like 40 interviews. So we now have 40 new CUBE alumni. Um, but a great community growing. A new level of interesting dynamics I want to get your reaction to. In any wave, there's always a, a start. Entrepreneurs making things happen, then the promoters. The promoters and the entrepreneurs cheerlead each other. They cheerlead, then it gets up to the point where there's a lot of growth. And then the next level is a new set of stakeholders. Investors, um, global players, new stakeholders, governments. Or it's happening now. For me, this is the moment I start to see the ecosystem going to that next level. Blockchain Unbound, the event we're here in Puerto Rico is a combination of developer conference, industry conference, investor conference, economic world forum rolled into one. So it's kind of a unique thing. You've been uh, doing a lot of presentations. You're a sponsor here, even though you're a startup. Um, a lot of conversations. Do you agree with that? Um, your thoughts, your reaction? Yeah, there's definitely, um uh, you know, the, the topics throughout the presentations, uh, both yesterday and today, have covered all those areas that you discussed. Um, with, in addition to that, I would say there's a focus on Puerto Rico itself. Um, I mean, this particular event that we chose to sponsor, which you know, yeah, I'd like, the to, like to point out, like everyone <laughs> is um, promoting our logo simply by wearing the lanyard for the event. But um, your product's not even out yet. <laughs> no, we actually, um, um, we had an announcement this week, so we um, what was the announcement? issued a, a press release, um, basically um, articulating for everyone to understand the vision for our blockchain, and also announcing that it's going to be launched on Monday. Uh, so we're really excited about that. The team's been working really hard over the past you know, number of months, working away, and uh, we have more exciting news that obviously will be coming out very shortly in terms of what, we're, what we've done and, and so forth, but our actual blockchain network is going live on Monday. I know this lottery is also a sponsor. They had a hot deal, you have a hot deal. Your product's not out yet, it's coming out on Monday. You have an announcement. What is the product? Yeah, digital bits. It's an open source project. Yeah, so what's it going to end blockchain up doing? Blockchain infrastructure protocol. It's our own blockchain you know, network that we've launched. It's, um, but anybody can tokenize on this blockchain. However, the specific vision for our project is to support the loyalty and rewards industry. Um, we see a huge, I mean, a third of points every year that it gets you go unredeemed. The, in the United States alone, there's over $100 billion in perceived value of points sitting on the balance sheets of these issuers from retailers, airlines, so on and so forth. It's a huge liquidity issue, and that number grows every year. And so, um, that's 1.0. One, that's one and blockchain has the opportunity to bring loyalty, rewards, obviously many other things, into 2.0 and change that game a bit, and eliminate tremendous amount of friction and challenges that traditionally have been experienced by consumers, businesses, and so forth in this space. And so on our blockchain, um, businesses, whether it's their existing loyalty program or new loyalty program, can tokenize that um, program on our blockchain. And um, you know, so we're, we're not ourselves operating loyalty program, uh, but we are very much supporting that industry and in addition to that, these various points that are tokenized on our blockchain can be, you know, consumers could trade points A for points B, um, and so on. That's awesome. Also, Al, you've been also active in the community here in Puerto Rico. Um, I've noticed that you've been involved in a lot of activities here on site. Um, Puerto Rico, since the hurricane, sideways, big problems, aid, now getting back on its feet. Uh, this community has been doing a lot of stuff. You've been very active right. in that. What's going on? Explain to the people, what is the vibe in Puerto Rico? Is it, is it rebounding? Is it rebounded? It, so the, rebounding, the, coming back, the role of tech, the tax breaks, 
there's a lot of things going on there's, here. And there's a number of events, obviously, this week and going into early next week under this theme called Restart Week. Um, you know, from what we've all learned is that there's still um, a, a lot of parts of this island without power and so forth. What's really great, I think, about this event, among other things, is that all of the proceeds from this event, so it's a nonprofit, so it go to the, 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 the people of Puerto Rico. And beyond that, um, there is a community here, whether it's you know, early in the morning, for the course of the day, and so forth, they've you know, arranged um, you know, initiatives and what have you to you know, do things here to help give back. And there's a, not, I don't think it's just isolated this week. There's obviously been a lot of news in terms of things that have been happening leading up to, to now and, and, and things happening in the future. Blockchain you know, and the blockchain community, cryptocurrency communities and so forth are really focused on wanting to um, help uh, you know, this island. And I think it's a wonderful island. I mean, it's, um, you know, it's my first visit here. But I, you know, it's it's not uh, it's not hard to uh, fall in love with. Puerto well, the Cube has landed here for two days. We're wrapping up two days of coverage. What's your observation um, in the hallways? I hear um, a lot of things happening. I heard one VC or investor, not VC, but now you know, token investor, seven deals, uh, MOUs. Um, a lot of smart people here. Saw the Block Tower guy earlier. I see all the legacy um, whales are here. So the entrepreneurs are here. A lot yeah. of money flowing around. They're, you know, so there's obviously a lot of news in terms of how regulation is evolving, some jurisdictions faster than others in terms of the introduction of, of clarity and, and what have you. But that clearly doesn't uh, appear to be stopping the enthusiasm in blockchain. Um, I mean, and, and it's just further validation in terms of how powerful this technology um, really is and, and you know, will continue to find its way into, into society and so forth. Um, I, you know, well, I think it's, people have faith that, you know, in, in some of these jurisdictions that aren't um, necessarily moving as quickly, that they'll get there. And, and so, you know, just as a result of that, people just continue to stay in the game because it's great to be early. So I got to ask you about the uh, just overall activities on site, off site, coin agendas around the corner tomorrow. Yes, we're a sponsor there as well, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're flush with cash. <laughs> Why sponsoring? Just curious. Um, so, because you're a startup, I mean, you don't have a product. No, yet, that's right. But, but we're getting our you brand. You funded the company. Yes. Yeah. And so we, we're getting our brand out there now. We're coming out of stealth mode. Uh, this was the first event that we chose to sponsor. Um, Coin Agenda, obviously, being the second. And so, very important. We want to let consumers, businesses, the, you know, the community know what what we're doing with blockchain. And you know, we have, and again, in the course of the next few weeks, additional announcements that we'll be making in terms of the great people that are involved, um, great partners, and, and so forth. So we're really excited uh, to get that out in the uh, out in the open. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, when you build a product, um, marketing is important. All right, and so this is a great community to support. Proceeds are going to the uh, this particular event. Proceeds go to a great cause, yep. and a lot of great people here. So you know, among the people on the planet that we would love to have know what we were up to, and so that's why we made the decision. So as you're doing an ICO. We're not doing an ICO, John. You're not doing an ICO, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What, what are you doing? <laughs> so we have uh, a lot of interest, uh, obviously, in our project, um, and you know, we, we basically are taking um, alternative compliant um, uh, approach to, to this, and we'll be announcing that, obviously, at some point in the future, but. Uh, we that was not a well-said legal Yeah, I practiced that one. You practiced that one? <laughs> I'll try to knock you off your game. Okay, we'll go back and rephrase the question. So, um, how are you financing this thing? <laughs> so, um, the great thing is that we've done nothing crypto in terms of um, creating, you know, having capital to, to build this, so. Um, Meaning your own capital. Yeah, we had our own capital. Um, so, Digital Bits was born in a company called uh, FuseChain. <clears throat> so, FuseChain raised traditional equity um, to go do what it wanted to do. And among those things was to give birth to this open source project called Digi the Digital Bits Project. And so, you know, we didn't need to prematurely create a token just for the sake of having a funding event so we would have capital to build this. We did not need to do anything crypto related to be able to have capital to build our blockchain. Uh, but now you, are gonna, now you are doing crypto related. Well, so, it's a chain. You know, what, what's happening with us is that, um, again, the network goes live on Monday, 
uh, will be clearly uh, demonstrating for the market the utility, um, and you know, organically, um, you'll see use of, of, of what we've done. And obviously during stealth mode, we've evangelized with key partners or prospective partners at who's the time. Who's going to be on the, uh, your launch? <clears throat> who's who's going to be using your chain? Um, so it will be um, obviously businesses that are looking to tokenize, but in addition to that. But you have that, names. We have names, you know, unfortunately I, I can't say who yeah. they are at this time. Are you going to announce them on Monday? We, we will be announcing in the Some? future. Yeah, so uh, not on Monday. Okay. On Monday, we, we will Monday's be announcing the launch. the launch. We'll announce uh, who are amongst uh, uh, the new additions to the team as well on Monday. Um, but following the launch, we'll, we'll announce who some of the partners are as well. Well, rumor has it you got a hot deal. I can tell by your body language, you're trying not to reveal it. Um, what's been the reaction um, for this project? It's been phenomenal. I mean, it's, you know, obviously as an entrepreneur, um, to, to see um, a vision become a reality and, and, and for others share, to share that enthusiasm is, is, is uh, you know, it's humbling. And so, but, you know, we're very focused. We know it's still, early. you know, it's a saying that I like, you know, you don't, you know, with in early, in the early days, it's not necessarily the time to, you know, crack open the champagne. You still have to demonstrate product market fit. You have to help build a market in, in our particular case. And so there's a lot of hard work the Launching is just, ahead. It's, it's a start it's line, a, not just, the finish exactly, line. Exactly, it's only a step along the whole process. All so right. a lot more steps ahead, uh, but we're very focused, we know, uh, we believe we know what we need to do, and it's going to be a phenomenal year for us. All right, what's the coolest thing you heard this week and the weirdest thing you heard this week? No comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment was the weirdest thing you heard? Okay, <laughs> we know there's some weird things going on. Al, CUBE alumni, um, wingman on the crypto for the CUBE. Great to see you, great to have you back on. Thank you for having um, me, John. Good stuff. Al Bergio, entrepreneur, founder of digitalbits.io. I'm John Furrier with the CUBE. More coverage here in Puerto Rico, Blockchain Unbound, after this short break.